Good morning. Can we all please uh, take our seats? And Secretariat, can we call all councillors and guests that are outside to come in? We are going to start. Uh, councillors, uh, invited guests, uh, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, I called this meeting uh, in my capacity as an acting city manager uh, with the objective of ensuring that the processes is legislated that within 14 days, uh, when the council is declared elected, there must be a council meeting in which a speaker will be appointed and all other office bearers. I had since, after I had called the meeting, received a correspondence uh, late last night uh, from the MEC of Cocktail, uh, MEC Toli de Mata, raising a few matters pertaining to my acting capacity and also in relation to, to the legislation. I had looked at the, at the letter and I had sought, I must be honest, uh, the legal advice uh, pertaining to what has been raised uh, by the MEC. I had various options in terms of the decision that I had to make uh, based on the legal advice. Uh, some of those would not be in the spirit of the intergovernmental relations. Uh, and also, just to ensure that again, uh, we start now to end a, a lot of issues going to courts and, and allow the interests of the city to take priority. I had then, after the consultation, I must first just quickly talk about my appointment. My appointment was made by council and it ended uh, on the 7th of October. It was just for three months. The executive mayor has then made an extension uh, up until the first council meeting is set. And, and, and of course, there is a legal argument based on the decision that I can take and that I would have taken based on the advice that I had received because there's absolutely no way that the council would have a vacuum. There is administrative actions that must be taken. And because at that time there was no council sitting because it was already an, an election moment, a uh, councillor council was in recess, the executive mayor took that decision. It stands in terms of the advice that I've got that any decision that I've taken is therefore legal and I must make it clear. I have taken this decision uh, after consultation with Cocta again. It is a strategic decision, it is not really a legal decision. Just to ensure that again, as these two spheres of government, we are not in any point where we are at loggerheads. Uh, it is my understanding, um, uh, DDG, DDG is here uh, with his team, that whatever that we'll be doing together going forward will be in the interest of this council. And on the basis of that, uh, councillors, and after the engagements that I had with the DDG, we agree that we are going to work, work together as from now. Uh, in preparing for the next council, in which this one I am going to cancel to avoid any fightings and so on and so on. We are going to be calling a meeting in which formal communication is going to come for next week Monday. The meeting is going to start at 10 o'clock, wherein that particular process will be focusing on a process of swearing in of, of councillors. And by 12 o'clock, uh, there could be then the starting of the process of the election of the speaker and so on and so on, and the council meeting will then continue. The MEC, before close of business today, that was the undertaking that I've, take, uh, I've got, is going to communicate the name of a person who's going to preside uh, over that council meeting uh, uh, on Monday. And thereafter, that person will work around the clock 
to ensure that all preparations uh, for the council meeting on Monday are in place. Uh, I will be fully part of that particular process, uh, working with them, I must say. Uh, we have agreed with the DDG that, again, technically in here. I've noted your councillor, let me finish. All right. Can, can I just then finish before the point of order? All right. Fine. That's fine. Let's accept. I accept it, and I don't think that I'm going to really be yes. uh, getting into that. Let's accept it, and and if we must go to legalities again to cost, then we'll do that to prove that. Uh, Councillor, order, chair. Order to you, uh, uh, chairperson. Uh, firstly, as a as a city manager, and also uh, to Cocta that they do not have a legal jurisdiction, as you are saying, even yourself, that there are no legal basis for this meeting not to proceed because this meeting was convened by a city manager elected by council. And according to law, it does not allow a vacuum can you imagine if there was no city manager, meaning there was not going to be a function? And the decision of the Constitutional Court have also made it very clear that the period in which initially was legislated of three months of a municipal manager does not hold water. Therefore, your authority in calling this meeting and also the decisions you have taken are legal. Therefore, Cogta is here. The DDG of Cogta is here. In 2016, it took them 30 minutes for them to preside. Today, we have a day to elect the leadership of the city. The instability we have cannot proceed. Even yourself, as an acting city manager, your only duty in this meeting, as you are not providing us a legal argument that says, in law, this cannot proceed, is to allow the majority of council to proceed. We are not preparing to put this municipality under administration as the inter for the fact that even the letter of Cogta did not arise even during working order, order, arise order. Therefore, order. No, 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 don't do that, don't let, start, let it's too early. Order. You are let too old, you can't sustain it. Order, order. 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 acting city manager, order. Therefore, a city manager. Acting city manager, I'm rising on the point of order. Therefore, so tell Naba to keep quiet and listen. Therefore, city manager. Acting city manager, if the ANC please tell me to the keep quiet and sit down. They so that we educate him because, because this meeting is, le is legal no no and we are not going he rose he rose on a on a frivolous point of order that is not existent all right uh, and he's making political statements there was no order in what he's saying right. i want to refer to him where it gives you a right to attend the meeting in terms of the council rules of order so that's the order all right we must not be intimidated there you are within your right as the person who called this meeting as the person who called this meeting, you have got every right to adjourn it as and when you see fit. It is not his meeting. All right. That's so, therefore, there was no order raised by Ngaba. That's noted. And you must tell some of these white councillors, they are not going to intimidate us when we speak here, particularly you. They are not going to intimidate us here. It's not their houses. We are going to raise issues of law and we are going to raise orders as we see fit. We are not going to be bullied by you because we are black. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Councillors. Councillors. It's not I, going I to happen. There are, are members of the public. Yes. Here. 
I, I've noted you, councillor. Can, can councillors raise hands? I'm going to take a few hands. I, I don't want chaos here, councillors. No, 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 that's fine. I'm just saying from now on onward, I am going to take a few hands, okay, and make my decision. All right? The, the, like I've said, councillors, an order is very important, even if you call an order, but I need an order in this house. We, we've got right. members of the public right. here that are looking Don't at us. The the and therefore, it is very important that we conduct ourselves in a manner in which it's proper as councillors. I'm going to take uh, Councillor Mafaya, Councillor Hoodbaum, uh, Councillor Kayser, Councillor Krohn, and Councillor... Out of order. Marky. No, no, out of order. And then yes. the last one there. No, All no. right. Uh, Councillor Mafaya, councillors, can we then allow Councillor Mafaya to speak first? And then we're going to go with that rule. Uh, Councillor Chikeka, then I'll give you then. Good morning, uh, acting uh, city manager, councillors, members of the public, and everyone. Um, as my colleague have said, Councillor Bongani Mani, that indeed, the first meeting in council after the election, the local government election, is called by the city manager in the municipality. And you have done so illegally or legally, and now you have come to correct what you have done. And you are telling us exactly what we expect, that you have come into conclusion as the author, as someone who has called the meeting, that the meeting will be adjourned and there will be another meeting. And in fact, can we please keep quiet and respect other people on the floor, colleagues? Please, councillors. We will, we will uh, excuse them. I can understand they do not understand the proceedings of council. Uh, I just want to say also that mm. please don't allow people or councillors to derail you because you have come to address us as the decision has been taken between yourself and Cocta. So it, it cannot be the in-between. You address us, just give us that, and then we will follow as to what will happen thereafter. Thanks, I will Councilor. be with you. Thank you. Thanks, Councillor Mafaya. Uh, Councillor Hutbon? Uh, thank you, ACM. ACM, what is very important here? Number one, you have called a meeting and you've got all the councillors here, that's number one. That means you have power to do that. We are here because of a directive, a notice that you've sent out. We wouldn't have been here if you were illegal, we wouldn't have come. Every councillor is here present based on an agenda and a directive that you've sent out. That's number one. Number two, what is very important here is that, and I think I conquer what councillor Banga said, is that the position of the ACM or city manager, there can't be a vacuum. The legislation makes provision for that. But what is also important, that under the ANC, as well as under the coalition government before, there was never a vacuum when it comes to the ACM. That's number one. Number two, what is very important here, ACM, is that the legislation is very clear on this. The legislation in the Structures Act that deals with the appointment of the ACM, parts of that has been declared unconstitutional. That's a fact. Parliament has not rectified that defect. So, if that defect has not been rectified, Can we allow there is a gap in our law. In Le Sorry, I'm, I'm on the ground. There's a... There's a no. But is they haven't acknowledged ACM, have you acknowledged there? Okay, ACM? ACM, you haven't acknowledged. My understanding is you said I'm on the ground. I'm still speaking. No, no. All right. So, AC councillors. Councillors. ACM. Councillors. Councillors. You see, ACM, if there's a point, is there, if there's a point. Councillors. Yeah, well. All right. You have come yeah, well. to convey a message all right. of yeah, well. the decision we have already taken. That's all. And just mm -hmm. do that so that we can... What is your order then? The order is you are out of order. Oh. How am I out of order? How am I out of order? 
ACM, I will continue. Councillors, thank you, ACM. I, I am going to allow councillors to talk for a few okay. minutes, right? Uh, the council meeting has not even yet started. There is no council meeting that has started. I'm just addressing the councillors now, and I'm allowing some of those to just respond on what I've raised. Uh, so I'm not going to allow the point of orders, councillors. Let no. me put it that way. Yeah. I would have done that if I had opened officially the council meeting. I came here to make an announcement, and I'm allowing a few councillors just to quickly. So, so, so sorry, councillor. Sorry, councillor Mafaya. I've given you a chance, Councillor Mafai. Can we take this approach? Let's allow councillors to, to, to talk for a few minutes and then I will then conclude in the matter uh, if, if you are fine. Otherwise, it's going to be, we're going to sit here for the whole day with the point of orders and so on. Uh, so, like I'm saying, I have not started the council meeting, I have not opened the council meeting. I'm here to make an announcement in the meeting. Uh, you can continue, Councillor Kubo. So, so, ACM, that provision has not been rectified so what happens there can't be a gap or a lacuna in the law when there is legislation is clear and this is an opinion coming from the acm's office that has been given to us before that has been used as a precedent before and it has guided us in council meetings before so this is very important so the presence of the acm is not illegal in terms of that legal opinion because the legislation says there's a gap there's a lacuna and if there's a lacuna we go back to the 2011 uh, 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 law that doesn't make provision for a time frame of an acm that is appointed that is legal opinion that sits in your office acm that you have placed before us and various other city managers so acm as far as we're concerned and number two this is very important Kopta is here. Yesterday, we received this letter for the first time. Why did this letter come yesterday? Why? The, now, the, the, the results was announced on the 5th of November. Kopta is fully aware that that results was made public. They should have notified if there was an issue with your position. Now they come on the eve. Now the law is very clear. Go read the Structures Act. The Structures Act says if there's an issue, Kokta that is here can preside over this matter. We are here ready to proceed, Asia. But you are legal, number one. Kokta's here can make this meeting also legal. So why must we postpone the meeting to Monday? This meeting is supposed to proceed. Let's proceed with the meeting. Uh, Councillors, can we, can we keep uh, quiet? They, they are talking to me. Uh, they, all these speakers are talking to me and on what I have raised. So let's allow them and I also want to hear them. Again. Uh, Councillor Kaiser. Uh, ACM, thank you. Section 168 of the Constitution of the Republic says the following. A municipal... A municipal, a municipal council is the only legislative authority of a municipality. You have convened us in terms of your authority vested in terms of section 54 of the Municipal Systems Act. You have, you have convened us because in your introduction you said your appointment is legal and hence as yeah, is on that basis of your authority in terms of 54 of the Municipal Systems Act. Where I disagree with your submission, council meeting has commenced. The decision to continue or not to continue is now the responsibility of the council who, has, who is the only legislative authority not on the acting settlement because we have convened we are engaging in council secondly is that we receive notice as councillor for a meeting based on your authority in terms of 54 of the systems act and even while we are saying we are legal even the complainants yeah are honoring you yeah in this meeting the complainants are in the meeting. 
People that argue this meeting is illegal are here curating this meeting, debating, discussing, and want to resolve in this meeting. What then is illegal about this meeting? Now, vested with section 168, this author the authority no longer lies with you acting sentiments because council has commenced. Now, it is us as councillors to resolve whether we want to continue. And two is that, you said you were advised on a legal opinion. The Municipal Structures Act, Chapter 2, says a councillor must take an informed decision. When we take that decision, whether to postpone or not, we must be taken into confidence. What is the content of the legal opinion and the basis on what that legal opinion is basically concluding on? In conclusion, I want to move before you even take a decision, because it is no longer your decision, it's a decision of counsel, that, that you take us into, into, into your confidence as political parties with the legal opinion so that councillors can take an informed decision whether we, we should continue to participate or not. The issue here is that, let me prove to you again why this meeting is legal. The very same director that says your, your authority is illegal is sitting here, does not dispute you standing there. Yeah, they are. Quote us here. They don't dispute your authority now as you are presiding over council meeting. Yeah, the complainants, the complainants, yeah, is legitimizing your presence, yeah. This meeting will continue, I think. Councillor Prun? Yes, Chair. Chair, just a correction. Chair, just a correction. There's no council here. There's no council. Firstly, as we are speaking here, no one of us, no one of us were ever sworn in, I myself. So, what we need to do, Chairperson, is to see to it that all of us are sworn in. Then we can engage as councillors. I'm very, very sorry that Rano is misleading everyone like this here. Yeah? So, 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 if we can ensure that everyone are made councillors so that we could then engage as councillors and then that, because whatever we say here now, Chairperson, it is just for your entertainment, our entertainment, it means absolutely nothing. Hey. Councillor, this is what I've said, that I'm, I'm entertaining you to raise issues on what I've said. Thank you. Uh, and, and I'm listening because really you must raise your issues and I must again come to the conclusion in terms of my decision. But I must entertain a few hands and, and comments. But I'm not going to allow that to go long, uh, uh, Councillor-elect. I'm not going to take long uh, in getting to the bottom of this matter. I want us to conclude on this matter. Uh, so, Councillor Feni, uh, Councillor Lamente, and Councillor Johnson. And then, those, oh, and then we, we close with Councillor Chikeke, the last one. Councillor Feni? No, thank you, uh, ACM. Correctly so for entertaining us. Uh, I think it's been far too long uh, since councillor-elects uh, have been together in a public platform like this. I think uh, one thing that I want to raise to you first and foremost is that you must have confidence uh, on yourself first, not to be intimidated here by people with ambitions of being mayors. You've made a mistake from the onset when you allowed people to come and lie here. Uh, you see, sometimes when you are being advised, by Bush lawyers like Krodbo, uh, you will find in yourself in such a quagmire because he is contradicting himself. He's supposed to know the precedence 
also the question of legal opinion what informs legal opinion and what is a legal opinion then you can be able to stand here and argue but in this instance there was nothing that was needed all of this shouting that was being done here right now we know that we've been here for too long <laughs> councillor elect right now it doesn't matter <laughs> So what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say, uh, acting uh, city manager, please proceed with what you were driving us towards. It's correct. It's correct uh, what we're doing in terms of the question of relations between these three spheres of governance will always be there for purposes of guidance and so on. So we can't end those relations on the basis that we feel, uh, you know, we feel that we want to achieve something incorrect. Councillor Tron just made the conclusion of all of these arguments that we made here that all of us here, we are here just uh, to be entertained by yourself as we are doing. Just what I wanted to raise. Thanks, Chair. Right. Councillor Lamendi. Uh, at the ACM, <clears throat> we are here today to proceed with the business of the day. Therefore, if there are any glitches, we want to put it on record that the UDM wants this meeting to proceed. And Cocta is here, by the way. If you feel that you want to step aside, you can step aside, but Cocta must continue the business of the day. And we want to put it on record that residents of Nelson Mandela have waited too long one of Uche is without electricity as we speak. The residents of Motherwell have no water as we speak. We want the council meeting to proceed. And I hear Councillor Tony is saying that we are not councillors. By the virtue of IEC, we are councillors. Councillor. Thank you, CM. I think this is, this is a phase, a new five years where changes are going to happen. I think you started on the right foot, CM. I think you, you've started because you want to ensure sound relationships with yourselves, with this municipality and uh, uh, provincial government, which is very good, and national government. Keep on that track. You've started to say, to tell us, you, you, you brought information to us. You said, this is what I've been deciding. I'm not continuing, and I know why, and maybe you know why you've, you've been saying that. And we applaud you for that. So stick to your guts. The, this municipality is not in a vacuum. 14 days expires on the 23rd. We're not in a vacuum. We should not be in a hurry, in a hurry for, for Especially these ward councillors that do, have done nothing in the past. Here they are sitting here. They've done nothing. Empty vessels makes the most noise. We are not intimidated, CM. Councillors, let, let's not point fingers to each other. Can you please just address me? Can you just address me? Uh, Councillor Chikeka. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Kaba, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Acting city manager, I think uh, we are rising to come and uh, accept your presentation and the guidance that you have given uh, to the council. And we believe that uh, you are steering us to the right direction. Because uh, if we want anarchy to prevail, uh, we, need, we will have to disagree with what you are saying. But the manner in which you are addressing us, it shows us that uh, in the administration, we have people that are having foresight, we have people that they want to see the, this municipality uh, going forward. Uh, with those few words, uh, uh, Acting CM, we accepted the guidance that you are bringing to us. Let's come back on Monday and do what we are elected to do. Thank you very much. Thanks, uh, Councillor Chikeka. Uh, Councillors, in closing, I had indicated that the meeting would be cancelled.
The meeting will be held on Monday at 10, starting with the swearing in of councillors, followed by then the election of the speaker and so on. I've indicated that we'll work together closely with COCTA to ensure that everything is above board. And, and that's how we'll proceed with the matters, uh, councillors. Thank you very much for your indulgence. The meeting is closed.